full recovery from chronic prostatitis and epididymitis. Removing the causes will cure all symptoms in the body, including chronic prostatitis and epididymitis. Bacteria, viruses and other parasites are tools that the body uses for self-defense. They are symptoms, not the cause, chronic prostatitis and epididymitis. All chronic inflammatory diseases share the same causes and thus can be treated with the same self-healing medicine. With a few adjustments made for differences in tissue damage. Symptomatic treatments, such as medications, usually cannot cure the patient, as they do not eliminate the causes of the disease. Recovery occurs only when all the causes of the disease, mental and physical, are resolved and eliminated. Chronic prostatitis cannot be cured with drugs. Most men with chronic prostatitis took high dosages of antibiotics in many cases combined with antifungal and antiparasitic treatment over long periods. Unfortunately, few are cured. Some clinics promise a cure within 30-60 days, but the body does not operate within time limits. Chronic prostatitis and epididymitis are very depressing for it deprives men of sexual satisfaction. In many cases, it produces frustration and low self-esteem. The good news is that it is curable. Through the use of self-healing medicine, chronic prostatitis and epididymitis patients, without liver or kidney diseases, can expect to be fully cured, mentally and physically, within 6-12 months. Chronic prostatitis and epididymitis are very common for several reasons. As there is a short distance from the penis to the prostate gland and the testicles, many prostatitis patients become exposed to sexually transmitted diseases pathogens. STD The prostate gland is moist with nutrients. It provides pathogens with a warm and nourishing environment. The prostate gland has relatively poor blood circulation with internal barriers that prevent effective antibiotic treatment, complications calcifications in the prostate. Very common. It might be possible to dissolve calcifications, partially, by consuming unprocessed food rich in vitamin K2. Combined with prostate massage to improve the blood circulation in the groin area. Vitamin K1, found in many greens, can be converted to vitamin K2 in the intestines. With the help of good bacteria. Consuming iodine regularly for proper thyroid function, is essential to regulate the calcium homeostasis. The easiest way is by consuming Himalayan pink salt. If prostate calcifications are hard to dissolve naturally and produce uncomfortable symptoms, it is possible to take the 3D cure Chinese treatment, complications, hydrocele testis. A hydrocele is an accumulation of serous fluid in the body cavity. Hydrocele testis is the accumulation of fluids around a testicle. Many chronic prostatitis patients develop hydrocels. It is a rather unpleasant and might cause embarrassment. They appear when the body cannot properly detoxify, especially in the groin area. It might be a sign of long-term chronic prostatitis or a more severe condition. A hydrocele is a self-defense mechanism designed to prevent future damage to the testicles. If an operation is suggested, you should avoid it. It will not solve the problem since it fights the symptoms and not the cause. What eliminates the problem at its root is self-healing medicine. If the groin area is cleansed of toxins, the hydrocele will disappear. No causes, no symptoms, the GAT and Gorin procedure. By catheterization. I do not receive any remuneration from recommending this treatment. The GAT and Gorin catheterization have many benefits. Not only for patients with enlarged prostates. The main benefit of this procedure is in improving the blood flow and regulating the blood pressure in the groin area. It is relatively a simple procedure with no side effects. It might not be available everywhere, and it is also quite expensive. I underwent this procedure in 2009. It saved me from further prostate damage due to my terrible liver condition. Full recovery from chronic prostatitis is achievable even after many years of suffering. Changing one's lifestyle is usually the main obstacle to achieve recovery.
The next slides describe the main principles of self-healing very briefly. You should adopt the available treatments and lifestyle changes that best suit your condition. However, the balanced diet, liver and kidneys cleansing is usually needed. Do not underestimate the importance of the mental and spiritual part. It does not matter how slowly you go so long as you do not stop. Confucius, 551 BC to 479 BC, was a Chinese teacher, editor, politician, and philosopher. By Simon Kurana, The Holistic Approach of Self-Healing The location of symptoms does not necessarily reveal the main problem. A single organ or system cannot be cured a part of the rest of the body. The entire body's immune system has to recover as well, the causes of all inflammatory diseases are always a combination of these three major elements. Unhealthy Lifestyle Reflected in Improper nutrition and high body toxicity, anxiety, low physical activities, lack of sleep. Gut flora imbalance and parasite overgrowth, which causes heavy load on the immune system. Traumatic non-resolved mental and spiritual events from our past. Blocks body's chi energy life force. Poor circulation of blood and other body fluids, self-healing medicine works on the physical body as well as mind and spirit to eliminate the causes of chronic prostatitis and epididymitis, mental and spiritual enhancement principles. Lifestyle changes, with more relaxation and sleep. Releasing non-resolved stressful events from the past. To restore the life force energy flow. The location of the inflammation, one or more, is not random, it starts where the life force energy is low. Strengthening Positive Emotions and Faith In this presentation, I skipped the brief overview of the mental and spiritual part. Available on the sfhealing.com website, Physical Body Enhancement Principles Eating and drinking a large balanced variety of unprocessed food and beverages helps initiate the body's natural regeneration process. Mechanical Detoxification By unblocking and cleansing the liver and kidneys Exercise and massage to improve blood and lymphatic circulation. Controlled solar baths. Essential for proper physiology and charges the life force energy. Acupuncture can restore the life force energy flow, and relieve pain. Uses mainly herbal food supplements and antioxidants, as little as possible, to restore the body's balance and efficiencies, specific lifestyle recommendations. Minimize your medications intake. Alcohol and smoking damage the immune system. Moderate ejaculation frequency in order to prevent qi life force drainage. Try to improve blood circulation to the prostate and groin area. Walking regularly improves blood circulation. Prostate massage is a bit painful but can improve blood circulation. Sitting for many hours or riding horses or bicycles blocks the blood circulation to the prostate, it is not recommended. It is recommended to put a sponge pillow under your chair to improve blood circulation, food, beverages, and eating habits. 1. A large variety of unprocessed natural food, preferably organic and not genetically modified, with all macronutrients and ingredients. All macronutrients are essential. It is a wrong approach to avoid carbohydrates. Drink only natural beverages. Tea, black coffee, water or fresh juices. Reduced quantities of animal protein, preferably grass-fed or organic range-free products. Deep water oily fish, good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Lots of dietary fiber mixed with natural oils and fats that enable effective emulsification process. Food beverages, and eating habits. 2. Fermented products with natural live bacteria are essential for good health. Avoid plain sugars and large quantities of high glycemic food. Trans fats, found in many industrialized products, are harmful. Each morning on an empty stomach squeeze one lemon and drink it mixed with lukewarm water. Chew well, take a break and eat comfortably, do not eat late at night. Intermittent fasting, not with zero calories, has many benefits, liver detoxification, 
freshly squeezed juices, coffee enemas, liver flushes. Why combining freshly squeezed juice with liver and gallbladder flushes and coffee enemas is so powerful. Fresh juice supplies the body all the needed nutrients such as vitamins, enzymes, electrolytes and antioxidants. It elevates the body's energy and helps the liver to produce more bile. Liver flushes, especially when adding apple cider vinegar, can help with dissolving and removing of solidified bile stones that are a result of high levels of toxicity. When the bile ducts are not blocked coffee enemas are much more effective. Because the movement inside the liver is through the bile ducts. Coffee enemas have an almost immediate effect on the liver and intestines. When the body has low levels of toxicity, the body's energy will improve significantly. Therefore the immune system can fight all pathogens much more effectively. Kidneys Detoxification Steam Sauna, Jacuzzi, Kidney Flush Steam Sauna, Jacuzzi, and Kidney Flush are beneficial in the detoxification of the kidneys. According to Columbia University, the health benefits of the steam sauna lie in its relaxing qualities. The heat lowers your blood pressure and pulse. Jacuzzi is an aquatic massage inside the bath filled with warm water. Usually about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The jacuzzi is very relaxing, and if you find the right spot, you can use the water jets to massage your kidneys gently. Kidney flushes are designed to dissolve deposits and cleanse the kidneys, exercise and massage to improve blood and lymphatic circulation. Massage Benefits, from Wikipedia Pain Relief Relief from trait anxiety and depression Improvement in sleep Temporarily reduced blood pressure and heart rate Expedited recovery periods for muscle performance Prevents the fibrosis of scar tissue Increases circulation of the lymphatic flow Massages have many benefits, no side effects, solar baths Controlled exposure to the sun has many benefits that have been known for thousands of years. Creates natural vitamin D. Very important. Elevates testosterone. The male hormone, women do not have masculine side effects. Helps relieve pain. Charges the chi energy. Helps relaxation and improves sleep. Promotes good mood and prevents depression. Rejuvenates scar tissue and skin problems, acupuncture. My conclusions concerning acupuncture, based on my long-term personal experience. Acupuncture has an amazing effect on the overall energy level, without any side effects. Acupuncture might be painful, but it also relieves pain. Especially when the meridians are not blocked. Higher chi translates into greater long-term ability to regenerate tissue. While a single treatment might not bring about a cure, when used as a part of complete therapy it contributes significantly. Successful acupuncture alleviates pain within few session, whoever long-term chronic patients will need regular treatments over more extended periods, food supplements and antioxidants. Natural nutrients, in foods and beverages, versus supplements. The body better absorbs the nutrients in food and beverages than those in supplements. Taking vitamin supplements might be even harmful because you might also feed the parasites. Drinking freshly squeezed juice and taking controlled solar baths on a regular basis enables to minimize supplements intake. During the recovery period only, patients might need some extra antioxidants and a few nutritional supplements due to low absorbency and compromised immune system. There is an endless list of food supplements in the form of powders, pills, liquids. Do not get confused. They may have health benefits, but they are not stand-alone treatments. Food supplements might cause side effects. Summary Removing the causes will cure any symptoms in the body. Bacteria Viruses and other parasites are tools that the body uses for self-defense. They are symptoms, not the cause. As a chronic liver patient with advanced liver disease, HCV, and chronic prostatitis, I had a very long history of treatments. This presentation is based on my 13 years of experience and my ongoing studies.
The theme of self-healing medicine involves many practical and philosophical issues. The sfhealing.com website provides a detailed, simple step-by-step -step explanation on how to practice self-healing medicine. Thank you for watching this video.